Hey, Mo, Jerry McDonald from the Bay Area News Group. Uh, now that you've been through it, what was it like? No fans, but in the opener with the stadium, the atmosphere, how strange was it? It was strange. Uh, that first drive, no fans, I mean, it was just kind of dead out there. You realize that you got to bring your own juice every single play. And, um, you know, it was big for us just to come together and, and know what we need to do and, you know, just uh, pump each other up and get each other hyped. Mo, Anthony from the Fresno B. What were your overall impressions on the, the defensive line against Carolina? And looking to Monday, what, what sticks out to you the most about New Orleans? Um, so, uh, for the Panthers, I mean, we weren't good enough, plain and simple. We know that. We know there's a lot more work that needs to be done in our room. We got to make an impact. And that's something I felt like we didn't do versus the Panthers and something that we have to bring to the Saints. And looking forward to the Saints, I mean, they're a team that's had a lot of players together for a long time. And Drew Brees is a Hall of Famer. And you know what to expect with that. He's going to get the ball quick. He's going to check down. You're going to have a screen game. They're going to have some shot passes. And number seven's a gadget player who can play anywhere on the field so you got to be prepared for him so overall you know just preparation having our eyes in the right places reading our keys those are the type of things that are going to allow us to win this game and Mo Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press in Las Vegas going back to your first answer you said you sort of have to fuel your own juice to, to, to sort of get into the game is it is there a part of it maybe that takes you back to your childhood when, when you you know group of eight or 12 guys get together in the park, bring the football or Thanksgiving morning, turkey bowl, whatever it may be. And sort of just takes you back to the passion and the love of the game just to go out there and play. There's no audience around when you're a kid playing. Yeah, we love the game. So it's brings you back to the times when there weren't fans in the stadium and you were just doing it for the love of the game. And that's something that we have to bring out there when we're playing and we have to bring the juice and it's definitely different than anything I've experienced. Um, I mean, I played football in Massachusetts, so we didn't have too many fans out there, but we had more than we had out there, you know, this week. So, I mean, just, yeah, I mean, definitely you have to bring your own energy out there every single play. Hey, Mo, Paul Gutierrez here. Speaking of bringing the juice, who brings the juice the most on, on the defensive side of the ball when you're out there? And, and is there kind of a, a danger in having to rely on somebody else because like you said, you have to bring it yourself as well. Yeah, I mean, you don't really have to rely on anyone, but it's a group effort. So when you make plays, it's easy to get fired up. When you see your teammate make a play, you see John come down and make a hit. You know, he's one of the guys that brings a lot of energy every single play and a guy that is a leader on our team and, you know, someone that is going to make a lot of big plays and splash plays. And that's something that we need to do more on the D-line. So. You know, I'm relying on my brothers to make plays and I got to make plays myself. So that's, you know, what gets the juice going and that's what brings the energy out. Mo, Aliva Edwards with Raiders.com. Uh, yesterday I was talking to Max and he said that uh, he's trying to make sure that uh, all of you guys are in the best conditioning as possible, making sure that everybody's in good shape. Uh, do you think, you know, compared to the game against Carolina, it was very humid, really muggy. Uh, very hot. Do you think that with the playing conditions being a lot different in Allegiant Stadium with the dome and with, uh, you know, the good grass, do you think that that will be a very big beneficial part to the pass rush on Monday? No, I don't think it will make a difference. I mean, if we were playing out in the parking lot, I would hope that we brought the same amount of energy and played the same amount um, conditioning and all that type of stuff. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter where we play, to be honest. Um, Hi, Maurice. This is Shannon from Nevada Sportsnet and NBC in Reno. I know when we spoke with you a couple months ago, you were just getting down to Las Vegas. Now this day is almost here. What's it going to be like just to go out there on Monday night and play the Braiders' first game in Las Vegas? It's exciting. And, you know, we would love to have fans there, but it will still be a great experience just to get in there under the lights, on the big stage, and having a Monday night game in there. I mean, um, it's the greatest stadium in the NFL and it's honestly an honor to get to play in somewhere so nice and get to break it in and you got to protect your home and that's something that we got to do and it starts on Monday so. Hey Mo, this is Vic and you mentioned number seven what kind of challenge does he present and is there like a checklist of things you have to look for when he comes on the field or you've got what's the process when you see him come on the field? 
Yeah, I mean, he could play anywhere. He could play tight end, put him in the backfield, he might even be in there at quarterback. Um, so you just have to be aware of where he's at when he's in the game. And that's something that we have to work on. And it's um, something that they use to their advantage because they can be in all different types of personnel and put them anywhere on the field. So, I mean, he's a great player and, and someone that we're prepared for. And we got to continue to to look at, you know, some of his plays that he's put out there on tape. Awesome, Adam. Well, uh, Big Ten announced they're going forward with football. So how excited are you for Michigan? I'm fired up. Uh, you know, I hit all my boys up and everyone's ready to go. And I can't wait to see Michigan out, get out there and, and play some games. And I mean, it's just a great time to get to watch sports, you know, um, didn't think we'd get this far, but it's exciting just to see, you know, teams out there and, and get to watch, you know, any uh, golf, football, basketball. Hopefully, my Celtics play a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, it's just uh, it's a great time. <laughs> All right, thank you guys.